Thanks for checking out my comparison of Thinkific versus Teachable. I've tested both of these platforms and here I'm gonna showcase which one is going to be the best by comparing some of the main features that each of these has to offer. So let's start with Thinkific first. They do come with a free trial and if you'd like to test them out, you can click the link in the description and it will actually extend your free trial to 30 days. Aside from that, here's the process for actually creating a course. It's very straightforward. Aside from creating courses, you can do digital downloads, coaching, memberships, communities, and webinars. And yes, you can host a live webinar with multiple attendees something that Teachable doesn't offer. Let's click on course right here. And this is gonna be the part where you can actually utilize AI to create your course, a lot of the description, and of course the chapters and lessons. Something you probably might not need to do, especially if you really know your course well. And Teachable also offers something very similar as well. But for the sake of this, I'm just gonna skip through this and show you how simple it is to get up and running with your course. All right, and something I think that you're really gonna like about Thinkific and where they really shine over Teachable is their ease of use. As you can see right here, we just have these steps that you would need to go in and fill out when it comes to creating and getting your course up and running. There's gonna be chapters, which you click right here. Let's say this is gonna be the introduction. We can save this. And within each chapter, of course, you would be adding a lesson. Within each lesson, there's a lot of different modalities that you can choose to use. Video, text, PDF. Yes, you can do quizzes, audio, download surveys, multi media presentations, assignments, and you can even go live on Zoom if needed. Let's say we have text right here. This would also be the introduction. I'm just gonna copy and paste that just to kind of go through quickly and showcase some of the things that you can do. If you wanna make a lesson a free preview, you can make it a prerequisite, meaning that students have to choose this one before moving on. You can enable discussions, and of course, you can also remove margins in a course player if needed, a few other things that you can do. Upon that, you're gonna be clicking on save lesson here. And overall, you're just gonna be repeating the process. So if you can create these chapters and then embed lessons within each of them, you're not gonna have any type of problem when it comes to creating your course. That's a really good thing. We have the same thing when it comes to the other options like settings. This is gonna be your course name, the ability to change around your image and description. Maybe you want your course player appearance to match your brand, you can do that. You can even drip schedule your content. So if someone just arrives at your course, the first introduction section will be open to them, but maybe Maybe the next section is open in one day and then two days after that in three days. It's really up to you. Thinkific is also very flexible when it comes to pricing. You can do free, of course, there's one-time payments, subscriptions for memberships, and of course, monthly payment plans so you can get paid around the clock. There is also the landing page section, and when it comes to both Teachable and Thinkific, I'd say they're both very similar in that they're both quite basic. It is very easy to edit once you do click on the edit page, and anytime you do use AI, AI will actually go through and implement all of the AI copy on here, so if you're not great at writing sales copy, AI can do that for you. Nevertheless, it's a very straightforward process, so if you wanna get up and running with selling courses quickly, Thinkific could be a perfect fit for you. All right, so now we moved on to the process of Teachable, which as you're gonna see, it's fairly similar to what Thinkific has to offer, maybe with a few differences here and there. Give it a title, describe your course, click on continue. You can add your thumbnail image. Of course, you can do this in Thinkific as well. They're just gonna be in different spots. To make this quicker, I'm just gonna skip it for now. And as we talked about previously, when it comes to Thinkific, they also have multiple prices that you can utilize. So it can be a one-time purchase, payment plan, subscription, free, or I don't know yet. If you wanna do a one-time purchase, I'm gonna click on continue here. And here's gonna be the section where you go about creating your price. Fairly straightforward here. Give it a price, give it a name, maybe some description to help incentivize more sales and click on continue. And once again, this is gonna be very similar to Thinkific where you can actually generate with AI. So you can describe your course below and they'll generate an outline for you. But once again, if you wanna start from scratch and you truly know your course, you can just simply do that and click on finish. So while we have a slightly different look compared to Thinkific, Teachable operates pretty much in the same way. Create your sections or chapters and underneath those, create some lessons within it. For example, let's go right here. We have our introduction section. We can click on new lesson. And this is gonna be the process where we go in and change it around. So by clicking here, we get taken to this page with a wide variety of content that you can also utilize. Once again, very similar to Thinkific. Text and images, videos, PDF viewers, resources, media code if you wanna use that, quizzes depending on the plan that you have, marketing tools depending on the plan that you have, and a few others, once again, depending on the plan that you have. 
So as an example here, all you need to do is simply click on the content section. This is gonna be where your content will go, obviously, just to make it quick, clicking on save here, and it's pretty straightforward. If you want to add any other type of content, you can do that as well, and it's pretty much just moving this from the right to the left, and of course, you have some other options where students can comment, you can have a public preview, and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, this is a very quick overview when it comes to creating your courses. In my opinion, I think Thinkific is going to be slightly better. I love how it's clean and simple when it comes to their navigation. Everything is in one nice little space, and you're pretty much just going through the steps when it comes to creating your course. Aside from that, Thinkific does have a slight advantage when it comes to the pricing. Their basic and smallest plan is going to start off at $49 per month. Comparing that to Teachable, as you can see here, they start off at $59 per month, but one of the biggest things if you did want to get started with them is the fact that they're going to have a 5% transaction fee, which can certainly add up over time, especially if you're comparing that to Thinkific. Let's go back over there. So you're not going to notice down here that there are any type of transaction fees because if you go up right here, it says no transaction fees. Yes, you might have to pay some like when it comes to Stripe, but you're not getting any extra transaction fees out of Thinkific. And I think that's a pretty big deal, especially if you're doing a lot of sales and volume and you're just getting started. And something else that's also great about Thinkific is that as you're going to be scaling, you're going to see the prices are definitely going to be better. So you're looking at $49 a month, $99 and $199. And when you compare that to Teachable, they're significantly more. We had 49, 99, and 199. You're looking at about maybe 50 or 60 extra when it comes to the Pro and Pro Plus. In addition to that, if you wanted to get zero transaction fees, you would have to start at the Pro or Pro Plus, something to keep in mind. So when it comes to the final comparison of Teachable versus Thinkific, I think it's gonna be a very easy choice to go with Thinkific here. In my opinion, they are so much easier to set up. I love the layout, I love the cleanliness. I think you're not gonna have any type of difficulty when it comes to doing this. And yes, both platforms work in similar ways when it comes to creating your course, maybe using AI, of course, creating all of your lessons and your chapters and so on and so forth. But the way this is structured means you're pretty much just needing to follow steps, create your chapters and your lessons, then go through the settings just to run through everything and ultimately publish it. I don't think it's gonna take you very long, especially if your course is already done. Another big reason to use Thinkific is not only do they have better pricing if you're going to get started, they also have no transaction fees on any of their pricing plans. Compare that to Teachable, it's going to be 5% on their beginning plan, but if you do want to get rid of that, you have to go to their middle or second one. So ultimately, not only is Thinkific better pricing, they are easier to use and they have no transaction fees whatsoever. And I think that's a really good thing. And while there's going to be some overlap when it comes to the bells, whistles, and features, it is nice that Thinkific starts off with unlimited courses going all throughout their plans. You do get a community, some digital downloads, you can run webinars, which is something that Teachable can't do, and a few others that are going to be helpful, for example, like order bumps and allowing coupons and discounts. These are great ways to help you increase your sales ultimately, and you can't argue with that. So at the end of the day, I would recommend going with Thinkific. And if you want to test them out, you can click the link in the description. And if you do, you get taken to a page that looks very similar to this. As you can see, it says start your 30-day trial. That's going to be extended from using the previous 14-day trial. That's my way of saying thank you for watching this video. And of course, if you still wanted to test out Teachable, you can do that as well. They do come with the ability to try them for free. I will also leave a link down below for them. Both of these platforms are overall great, but in my opinion, Thinkific definitely has the edge. And that's pretty much just going to do it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got some value out of this video. Enjoy.